Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I've made my way down to Southern Ohio, Fayetteville, Ohio. And uh, if you caught AgriTalk Radio on Monday, you heard me mention this sale. We're going to be filming it tomorrow, uh, Friday, February 9th, I guess, by the Went Group. And these are the folks who are selling, uh, Tim and Linda Stegbauer. We've had a, a wonderful afternoon uh, visiting about their farm and the beautiful, beautiful line of mach machinery. Folks, you gotta check this out. This is super high quality stuff here and guys thank you for all your help and patience as we were doing tv you guys did an awesome job and uh and uh this combine we got talking about guys now is it is it a 14 or 15 do we know 10 14 14 pretty sure it's a 14 okay and low hours on it how many did you say uh 1075 engine and around 550 separated okay and so 10 years old but so how those how such low hours on it uh i just did farm a lot of acres yep there you go and it's uh again a lot of low hour stuff on the sale here folks and uh how are you guys feeling here the night before the auction big sale tomorrow you guys are retiring um two kids um and your son helped out but now he's working in columbus so you guys kind of ready for the next step i think so Well, I, I love it, and uh, I think, as always on these auctions, I think the folks who buy your guys' equipment are going to, uh, they're actually, to some extent, larger extent, buying you guys and the amazing care you've given it. And as we go around, folks, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about here. But Linda, how are you feeling uh, tonight here, the night before the sale? <laughs> pretty good. Ready to pretty, go? Pretty excited. A little nervous, but... Awesome. And we were talking about retirement plans, and folks, we have to cheer Linda on. She has to... Uh, convince uh, Tim here that it is okay to fly an airplane. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's move along here. Uh, the line of tractors is what I first saw. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Fighting a little cold, but beautiful line. We got a couple, uh, an H and a B here. Now, Tim, you picked these up uh, not too long ago. Is that is that correct? Uh, I've had them a few years now. Okay. Uh, it's a state sale, original owner. Okay. And uh, I bought it. I just thought they were a cheap tractor. And I was going to have it a little late, so it was local. Okay. And, uh, I bought it. Okay. It was a one owner. And then the B I bought, uh, saw it advertised out of Indiana, and uh, knew the history behind it. Did you Did know the be... owner on that one? No, I didn't know the owner. I bought it from another fellow that bought it from the owner. Okay. And uh, they had, yeah, the owner and his father-in-law had restored it. And uh, he came, ran into some money troubles. And he let the tractor go. And I just happened to be there to buy it up. Now, were you telling me, Tim, as we were chit-chatting, the first tractor you ever drove on the farm was a B? That's as near as I can remember. It was a B with an 8-foot <laughs> pull-type disc, yes. Nice. How old were you when you hopped behind the wheel? 12. 13 12 or 13 and you grew up right on the far right here right here right okay here. Yes. and linda you were a neighboring town yes okay chase, you guys... chase town ohio just a little dot on the map dot nothing on the map it, any stop signs or stop lights nothing nothing no no <laughs> stop light. okay no. and fayetteville do you have you have one stop light one stop light yeah. okay awesome don't blink <laughs> how big is fayetteville by the way uh good Two gas stations. Two gas stations. Light. And how far from Cincinnati? We're not too far from Cincinnati here. It's about 40, 45 miles okay. east of Cincinnati. Okay, south of Columbus. Beautiful country out here. I love coming out to Ohio. Let's keep walking down the tractor line, guys. The 5055E, uh, very low hours on this one. Uh, do you remember how many hours, Tim? Uh, 750, roughly. Okay. And uh, what can you tell us about it? Uh, it was the uh, lease tractor, John Deere leased where it was only allowed to have 100 hours put on it. Right. And they, John Deere at the time thought they would be bought and they weren't, so hundreds of them came back in on the lease. And I purchased this over the 100 hours. Right. And what did you use it for around the farm here? Uh, mostly uh, running power ditchers. Uh, okay. If you know, prepare that, or and, uh, grain auger. Grain auger, okay. Yeah. Okay, and right next to it, folks, we have a, a Sharp 6125R. What can you tell us about this tractor, Tim? Bought it new. Uh, it and the 6130D the same day. I went looking for a tractor to replace my loader tractor that was more up to date. And the um, 
the service manager at the John Deere dealer I was dealing with at that time said you need to get an R series, be much more comfortable and a more uh, high end tractor. Yep. And I looked at them both, and the salesman that I told you about, Randy Hanson, he said you'd look good in both of them, so I bought them both. So again, we need to hi we highlighted this on the TV show, uh, Tim, but the one John Deere salesman with, with canning you dealt with many years, Randy Hanselman. Hanselman. Okay, and he's going to be at the auction tomorrow. He yes. Okay. And I understand he's been getting a lot of phone calls Correct. asking about Tim and Linda's Correct. beautiful yes. equipment. Yes, he has. Yeah. It's been a very good advertisement. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a powerful thing to have a, a connection like that with a, one, you know, a dealer through the decades that you have that trust with, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. And he's, he knows. He's a good guy. He knows how you guys roll. Yeah. And uh, we'll try to connect with Randy at the sale tomorrow. And let's go along to take a look at that next tractor. That uh, again, this is a 6130D, is it? Correct. Yes. Okay. With the H310 loader. Again, low hours. How many hours, Tim? 8.50. 8.50. And you bought this on the same day as the 6125R? Okay, well, that's a good day. It was. It Linda, was. were you along for the purchase, or did you know about the purchase? Oh, I knew about You knew. Okay. <laughs> yes. That was a, and uh, we, were, we were teasing folks. We were doing some uh, filming for the TV show here, and I, I sprung up. Sometimes I like to ask different questions. And the, Tim and Linda have been married 39 years, and I asked them... Uh, What's the secret to a happy marriage? And we had some great answers. Um, Linda, you said patience, patience. which I love. Yes. And Tim? Uh, listen and keep your head down. Keep your head <laughs> down. That's when I thought Tim was a fellow Minnesotan with me. <laughs> okay, folks, now these are the two tracks. Wow, my goodness, this 8330. Tim, I think you said this is an 07 model? Correct. Okay, how many hours on it? 16? 16. 16. 30 approximately, yes. Wow. And did you, are you the second owner, first owner? Correct, second owner. Second owner, okay. And this tractor, Linda, you said this was your uh, the auger tractor? Yes. A grain car tractor, okay. Uh, what did you like about it? Uh, it was real easy to handle. As long as you don't uh, ride the clutch and behave yourself, it's, it's a nice tractor. Very there you nice. go. Folks, you, tomorrow you can buy Linda's 2007 8330. Under 1,700 hours, second owner, it's a beauty. Uh, and sitting right next to it, let's go end of the line here in 8285R. Guys, is this a 13 model? Yes, that's correct. And again, low hours. Tim, what are we looking at? Uh, 12, 1,230. 1,230. What did you like about the 8285R? Oh, it's just, both tractors were very nice to operate. Uh, that one, I mean, they're just, uh, just, I'm not surprised you mentioned you've been getting quite a few inquiries on these on these two yes, tractors. These two tractors have gone with a lot of interest. Yeah. Yes. And uh, pre deaf right behind you there, that 07 model. Of course, I've been writing about that a lot. Uh, but 13 models with low hours have been doing very well, too, folks. So, again, the sale is tomorrow. Uh, the Went Group sale kicks off, guys. Is it 10 30 Eastern time tomorrow? Yes. That's right. Okay, and folks, the website is the Went W E N D T Group dot com. Kevin, Nick, Dale, uh, uh, you know Tyler, great people. Always like watching those guys do their thing. And I know uh, Tim, you were talking about the number of pictures they take of your equipment. I'm just impressed with the listings. Yeah, I was impressed and got a lot of comments from phone calls of uh, the amount of pictures they take and how detailed they were. I was yeah. I was very like, pleased with. Right. Okay, guys, let's let's loop around here. So take us over. Another hot item on the sale tomorrow will be the, be the sprayer rogator. Was it RG nine hundred B? Tim. Yes. Okay. And how about year and hours on it? Uh, Two thousand fourteen. Uh, Fourteen hundred and thirty hours. Okay. Were you always a rogator guy? Uh, started rogator. Linda's I, laughing. What are you laughing? At? My, <laughs> my first my first sprayer was a rogator. Okay. Eight fifty four years ago. Okay. I traded it for a John Deere. Yep. And. When I decided it was time to upgrade, no John Deere's were available, mm. and I'm thinking I broke my teeth on a, I cut my teeth on a Rogator. We can go back. Start and, and end. Uh, uh, a fellow I knew was trading us in, and I knew him and knew I took care of his. That's property. important, isn't it, when you know yes, the previous yes. owner? And, and I went to his farm and looked at it, 
And uh, he said, if I trade it, I'll let you know. And he did it. I went and bought it. There you go. Well, folks, if you need a great sprayer, sell them tomorrow. TheWentGroup.com. Hop in and bid. Uh, also, again, if you're around in the area, come out and join us. We'll be filming for the TV show. So, uh, And, Tim, let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, of course, you know, online auctions are a great way to go these days. <clears throat> Why was it important to you guys to have a physical sale? Well, it's like I told uh, Nick with the Wint Group when he first came to see me about writing up the sale. Uh, the majority of the people that are going to buy this type of equipment, I feel, is that 60-year-old age group and older. And they are still the old school, feel it, touch it, see it. They want to be here. And I, I didn't want to uh, take that away from them. So yeah. we wanted to do the online in-person buy. Now, before I forget here, Tim, uh, we were, again, just visiting, and folks, uh, this is the power of, of connecting and going to an auction and talking to people, but... Tim, you were saying your father was actually, or was it your father or your grandfather that was in the auction business? My father was an auctioneer. Your father? Mm -hmm. Okay. When did he get his start? Um, mid, late 50s. 50s? Yes. Wow. And was, did he have his own auction firm? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right around Fayetteville here? Yes. Right here. Okay. Yes. And you mentioned your dad just passed a couple years ago? Yes. yes. Okay. What, what did he love about the auction business? Uh, well, I was pretty young when he had to give it up. He lost his hearing, mm. and uh, he couldn't pick out the calls from the crowd. Sure. And he said, I, it was embarrassing. So he said, i got to hang it up. And sure. I'd say he, he, he stopped in the mid-70s. Okay. So I don't remember a lot about it. I guess the best thing to say about him loving about the auction is he loved to talk. He loved to visit. He was a per, uh, people person. Yeah. And... Not a better way to do that to be an auctioneer. Linda, you, you were mentioning that, uh, that dad was like that, wasn't he? Yes. He was a people person? He sure was. Yeah. You, could, you could talk to him about anything. And he he, uh, he was in the service, a Marine, and I knew uh, a lot of people, had a lot of connections. And he he was just fascinating to listen to because he had a lot of old stories. And, uh, of course, they a lot of them got tired of listening to him, but I could listen to him for a long time. Yeah. He was a sweet, dear man. And, and Linda, you, you say that uh, your husband, Tim, now, also people guy, like yes. stuff. And actually, folks, we were uh, visiting, and, and Tim, you actually get up behind the mic at church uh, as yeah. a deacon over the years. Yeah, years ago, yes. And I understand, uh, you know, Linda, you maybe you can share, but it work, works in occasional little humor, uh, <laughs> giving out the announcements, but right. uh, that right. is awesome. And hats off for doing that, Tim. Uh, you know, it's hard to get people to, to do those tasks these days. And as we as we pan around here, folks, uh, again, the sale is tomorrow. It starts at 1030, thewentgroup.com. We do need to talk about this skid steer, this Cat D, or uh, 262D3. Hardly any hours on this thing. I'm trying to remember from the sale bill, Tim, but do you remember the number? Is it like under 200 hours? I was in it this morning. I think it's up. We used to move a lot of machinery around, so it's, I think it's up to like 72. Oh, 72 hours. Well, there you go, folks. Now, anytime I see something like this, guys, people around the country, they'll say, well, hey, machinery, B, what's the story on it? Um, and, you know, what, just change of plans or what? what the... Well, like I said earlier, it, it, uh, I had to get something to clean up a lot of brush in our area around the trees around the edge of the field. And I was doing the old fashioned way, right? chainsaw. Oh, right. Folks, if you want an absolutely like new skid steer selling tomorrow morning here, hop on to the Wind Group. And pretty much kind of same with the with the mini excavator here, the U484. Uh, again, low hours on this thing, Tim. What, what are we looking at? I have it written down on a sheet. I just don't have it in front of me. Between 16, 17, Yeah. Yeah. What a great mini excavator here, folks. And uh, one last question. Uh, Gotta ask you guys now. Your son lives up in Columbus. Understand was a, quite a baseball pitcher. D1 actually pitched for was it University of South Carolina? Upstate. University of South Carolina. Upstate. Upstate okay. And fastball clocked at uh, what was it, Linda? 97 or something? 90, 94. 94. 94 miles an hour. Now, were you guys ball players growing up? Did you get that from you guys or? Nice. 
How about you, Tim? Were you baseball or? Everything? Basketball. basketball. Well, I, was not, I was not allowed to play sports because the farming came first. Ah, sure. Basketball was in the winter, so I was able to play basketball. Oh, okay. Now, I was just in Indiana for our last auction for the TV show, and we and the seller played one-class basketball in Indiana in the 70s. We enjoyed talking about hoops. What was your game, Tim? Were you uh, a deadly outside shooter, or were you? <laughs> no? <laughs> no, I, I was our big man when, back when 6'2 or 6'3 was a big man. I hear you. I, I, I was a center, and I had really good uh, outside shooting guards yep. that missed a little bit, and I stuck it back in. You were the garbage man. I was the garbage man. Nice. I was the garbage disposal. I relate to you, Tim. I was a uh, six foot three, hundred and sixty-five pound center, Benson High School, nineteen eighty-four. <laughs> I didn't have much to work with, but uh, you got a sharp elbow. Linda, did you you play basketball too? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, were I was, you? Uh, I was four years varsity. Nice. I'll, I'll leave all county. Nice. And, uh, also an arm wrestler. So I, I wait, 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 Got uh, trophies, first nice. place trophies for being open class uh, arm wow. wrestling in the women's division. My well, I'm wife so... was Brown County arm wrestling champion three years in a row. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> so now you know why I kept my head down. <laughs> <laughs> Very wise. And I'm so old, I remember all the TV show Wide World of Sports. Mm -hmm. On the weekends, they used to have arm wrestling championships. And what is the secret to being a great arm wrestler, Linda? Just being quick. Quick. It's not so much in strength. Huh. You have to be strong. Okay. But you've got to be quick. Ah. So I was very, I was very fast. Well, I gotta say, guys, in, in 34 years doing machine repeat thing here, I've never got into a conversation about arm wrestling before. So, Linda, <laughs> thank you for that. You're welcome. And thank you guys for the the tour. There's more beautiful equipment, folks. Beautiful John Deere drill. We've got a what a 1770 NT 16-year-old planter in the shed, Tim. And then uh, an air seeder too, 19, right? 1990 air seeder. Is it 30 foot? Yes. 30 foot. And again, folks, just being up close with it today, it's beautiful condition. Go to thewentgroup.com and sell us tomorrow at 1030. Guys, thank you so much for uh, giving us the tour.